Hi everyone, this is Andy. Today I'm gonna teach you some little tips about picking your ideal performance or so-called gaming laptop. So let's see. You know nowadays, performance seems to be the only reason that people go for laptop instead of the tablet or phone. They may take their laptop for gaming or for content creation anywhere. And you know, now in the market there are tons of performance notebook or the so-called gaming notebook you can get. So let me teach you how to pick one ideal performance notebook. You know, in the performance notebook market, there will be main three categories. The thin enthusiast, premium gaming or the premium performance, and the last one will be the essential. You know, this segment was categorized by the performance. So let's start from the thin enthusiast. When the laptop was categorized by the enthusiast level, you can tell from the meaning is that all components all the parts of the laptop could be expected on the top. Not just the processor, graphic, but also the panel, and connectivity, and also the battery life. So if you are an enthusiast who is always looking for the extreme performance, or you want to do something more like overclock your laptop, then the enthusiast is something that you should go for. Or if you are focusing on the high res content editing, such as the 6K, or the AK footage editing, then you should take a look at the Enthusiast laptop. Usually in this segment, something extreme like the, even the Core i9 processor or the premium RDX 2080 graphics will be available. So if you don't want something that is you know, so enthusiastic, then you should go for the premium label. You know, in this level of the product, I mean the laptop, yes, you cannot get those most extreme, most powerful performance but you could still have the smoothest gameplay, also the smooth content creation in this segment. So if you're a gamer that's looking for the FPS over 16 when you're playing the FPS game or the mobile game, or you are some content creator focusing on maybe 1080p video editing, then you should go for the premium. You know, in this segment, usually you will see the i7, 6-core processor available, and the battle graphic, there will be more options for you, like the RDX 2060, even higher RDX 2070, or you can go for the GDX 16 series as well. As for essential model or the so-called entry gaming model, actually you could still expect like the 1080p mobile game with the FPS over 60, or doing some really lightweight content recreation like doing the basic photo editing with Lightroom. Usually in this segment of the laptop, you could have i7 or even budgeted i5 processor available and also the graphic you will see tons of 1050 graphics available in this market okay now you know there are three different types of uh, performance laptop you could get in the market and it's time to pick one we i mean the gigabyte provides these three types of the performance laptop in a full range in the market so let's start from the thin enthusiast as you can see on my left is the brand new aero 15 oled and i gotta say it's the best thin enthusiast you can get in the market. It not just deliver the premium, I mean the extreme performance coming from the 8-core i9 processor, also the RDX 2080 graphics, and also got the best connectivity in the market, uh, Thunderbolt 3, full size of the UHS-2 SD card reader, and guess what, it also has the best endurance. 94 watts battery provide up to 8.5 hours of battery life. It means that it could bring to the studio, have discussion with your customer, or to the office or just get back home and have edit like the 6k or 8k video so basically it's the best thing enthusiast you can get in the market right now okay so if you are not that power hungry you just want to go for some premium model then OS 15 will be your best choice it's one of the fewest model in the market that's still featuring the regular version of the RTX 2070 and 2060 so it could provide the best performance among the premium I mean laptop in the market you know not just the powerful graphic but we also have the lightning fast panel 240 Hz panel which is from the shop and also it got huge storage UM.2 slot and one 2.5 inch hardy or SSD base so which means you could save all the games and all the project for your content creation inside OS 15 and enjoy the best performance of it okay so if you don't have that budget or you just want to taste the game a little bit or just do lightweight design or the content creation 
We also provide the essential, I mean the entry gaming model as well. We have the 15 inch or 5 and 7 inch or 7. You know, usually in this kind of product, you can never expect premium or something with branded in the market. But for ORS 5 and ORS 7, we promised you that all the components inside ORS 5 and ORS 7 is by well-known brand. Like we only use the CPU from Intel, the SSD from Intel actually 760p SSD, the DRAM will be 100% from Samsung, and guess what? We also provide 144Hz refresh rate panel, which is 100% from LG. So it means that even though it's essential model, you are experienced the quality of the product won't be compromised, won't be sacrificed and it could deliver the smoothest gameplay and also the best lightweight design experience for you. Okay, so we can be much simpler. We can just let you know how to pick your ideal laptop by the game you want to play. Let's take, uh, I mean, those games which is highly anticipated and gonna be published in 2020 as example, such as the Cyberpunk 2077, it will be definitely the triple A titles and if you want everything set to the max like anti-aliasing something like that then you can just go for the thin enthusiast or like ours 15 with our RDX 2070 and you can get the best I mean the game experience based on that and if you're looking for some adventurous I mean RPG game which is not that you know refresh rate demanding but you would like to see more detailed more saturated the gameplay when you play the games then maybe you can consider about the Arrow 15 with the older version you know because the contrast ratio of the panel is super high and even though the refresh rate is 60 Hz but the response time is below one millisecond so basically you don't need to worry about the ghost image image blurring during the game so everything will be cool if you're just exploring the world of the game with the older panel but 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 you know, if you don't interested about triple A titles, you just want to play some games like the Minecraft Dungeon or those classic eSport games such as the Dota 2 or League of Legends, then you can just go for the Ors 5 or 7. Basically, it could provide the FPS average over 60. It's budgeted, so you can easily enjoy the game with them. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to know about how to pick one ideal performance or the game laptop. If you still have questions or problems about picking ideal one after watching this video, you're free to leave the comment or leave us the question when we're willing to help you to answer that. Thank you for watching. See you next time.